supplies it. Can you please Properly anybody address here? Properly and treat no. the patient's pain. I see you opted for the med syringe. Damn Good useful. Choice. You recorded what was necessary to Always ensure proper useful. continued care. Try not to be so hasty with your diagnosis next time, doctor. You'll find your success rate will improve. I'm sorry, what? I said left femur fracture, neck strain. The answer was... Diagnosis? Left femur fracture, neck strain? I... So wait, there's a space between this... Wait, no, there's no space. Apparently. Um... <laughs> you mad? Just a little bit? I thought for once I didn't suck. But no. No, I... I did. Hmm. Not sure how to feel about that. And let's just throw that on Imgur really quick. Need to save that for posterity as a good reminder for people not to play this game. There we go. I did it. And close that. Nope, that's maximize. You did what you had to do to save the patient, but just barely. I didn't glove his chin and neck. <laughs> if I had only gloved him, he would have survived. I've been looking forward to reviewing this case with you. Let's see how well you distanced your emotions from your exam and treatment. Oh, it doesn't matter. I found this patient's BP particularly telling. You did too. Good work. I can't believe the RR on this patient. It looks like Doctor, a wave. We all wear a stethoscope it doesn't really around tell our neck for a reason. It's damn useful, <laughs> especially in a case like this one. Sorry. With such evident signs of distress, the 12 useful. lead EKG should have been a top priority. <laughs> Just think what might have happened if you failed to run this test. I did. I'm curious how you can ignore a CT scan in this case, Doctor. Because I'm a I'm moron. I'm curious how you know. can ignore an X-ray in this case, Doctor. I'm curious how you can ignore an X-ray in this case, Doctor. You correctly applied the cold compress to address the swelling. <laughs> Way to identify the break and use the splint It's a giant open it. wound. You want Sharp me to put a cold eyes, pack doctor? on it? This patient's weak Do you want state a bag of frozen vegetables for that fix it? Fluids. Good. You injected antibiotics to help the patient's immune system battle the infection. The endotracheal tube protocol was required, and you followed through like a veteran. Did Not I? an easy treatment to administer, but a necessary one in this case. You scored high marks by choosing the test tube protocol. The treatment indicated was not necessary. Sorry. The treatment indicated was not necessary. I was. The treatment indicated well, I was, was not it. necessary. The treatment indicated <laughs> was not necessary. The treatments indicated were not necessary. Oops. Before you treat the wound, it's important to cleanse Sorry. the area. Or have you forgotten that small detail? Your hospital orders list is incomplete. I wanted to put a bandage on the giant gaping, bleeding wound, but no. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's not necessary, but damn useful. This case was difficult, to say the least. Given the circumstances, I can see how you went wrong. But that doesn't change the fact that you failed to draw the correct conclusion. Oops. Your ineffective use of the tools and time you had at your disposal nearly cost this patient's life. Oh, he survived. Well, that's okay. Electrical shock case. And a critical one. We'll step through this one step through carefully. Talk about through the roof. You put the EKG to good use in this instance. Actually, the EKG was what on zero. What you learn from this is how effective the 12 lead can be in determining heart ailments. With head and neck trauma, you don't take chances. X-rays are a must. X-rays are damn useful. Signs of wheezing, useful. labored breathing, or rapid breaths God, I can't believe how big that guy's you tongue is. The patient by administering oxygen via it's mask. massive. The right decision. You handle the crash cart to defib the patient like a pro. Bro. Sharp eyes, Bro. doctor. This patient's Bro, weak eyes. state demanded the introduction God, the, the of intravenous fluids. Down. To properly address and treat the patient's pain, I see you opted for the med syringe. Just a double pro. Choice. To properly address and treat the patient's pain, I see you opted for the med syringe. Good choice. Thanks. You correctly applied topical medication. I, you correctly applied topical medication. Before you treat the wound, it's important it's important to cleanse the area. 
Well done. It's nice to see you didn't forget the basics. No? You needed to bandage the wound, and you did. I rubbed it's his nice belly to see and you everything. didn't forget the basics. You needed to bandage the wound, and you did. Uh, I'm... There were no do not resuscitate orders with this patient, doctor. You should have used the defibrillator. I did. Before you treat the wound, Wait, it's I totally did, because he would have died if I didn't. Area, or that was the first thing I did. Small detail. You thought this patient's continuing care through. The hospital staff should thank you for your thorough plan and highlighted reminders. <laughs> highlighted reminders? What I was actually, or what I was saying was, Most I do cell bio. Through here are routine, and dare if I it comes to stuff I can actually see, I have no idea what to do with it. Occasionally, we see an exotic one. Good. Your ineffective use of the tools and time you had at your disposal nearly cost this patient's life. Oops, I forgot to glove any. Or magnifying glass any. If I just touched him at all, he would have been safe. Man, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> you want a pretzel? I'm gonna glove the pretzels. No? I'm on a personal slowdown. You did everything wrong, but the paperwork so is right. Of administration coming down here and telling us how Two to take care of patients. Most of them haven't worked the floor in years. Damn it, Tim. I'm a doctor, I'm not a glover. trying to the other nurses into getting unionized. Oh, forget about it. Do you think do not resuscitate orders are damn useful? Sure you don't want one? Suit yourself. These pretzels are damn useful at eliminating hunger. Oh, that's right. It's the car crap. Oh, no, it isn't. It's the one that I thought was pregnant, but has a bis- I remember this. She woke me up screaming. I wasn't screaming. The pain was horrible. You are the one screaming. Will you tell the doctor how you feel? They have plenty of other patients. I feel pregnant, but your appendicitis- The pain started at her belly button, and then it moved much lower, and then she complained of nausea, and then- Oh my god. What if she's pregnant? Oh, what if Mom. I'm pregnant? If I find oh. out you had sex with Anthony Scapello, we haven't even hardly had sex. Hardly? How do you hardly have sex? How can we if we're always showing up? I'm sure you could find a way. Will you deal with her, Doctor? I'm your boyfriend, My boyfriend now. My boyfriend and I? <laughs> 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 Love her abdomen. Alright. Sixteen. That sounds like reasonable Maybe advice. Seventeen. Beep, beep. Pain on palpitation with rebound pain and guarding. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to check the machine. I'm burning up. That should have been the indication that her appendix is not going as very as well. If she were pregnant, I don't think she would have a giant well. fever. But then again, I've never been pregnant, so I have no idea. Hey. Hey, pee in this cup. You are so cool. Also, that like totally those doctors on out. that TV show. You're so cool for making me pee in this cup. Good God, I did not expect that. I was legitimately freaked out for a moment. The nurse said it could be gas. Oh, gas, my. Oh. I'm pregnant, and Damien's the father. That's not a baby. I know you're gonna help me through this. It's indicative, er, indicative of appendicitis. Maybe the baby's just the big poo. Is that how babies work? Uh, forgot the My IVs. My mom thinks she knows me, but she doesn't. Yeah, parents suck. There's nothing in here that'll get me stoned, right? Dude, what's in the IV, bro? Yeah, it's my IV meds. Thank you. Mm. I feel better already. Can you sedate her? You could try. Don't listen to my mom. You're doing a great job. Well, I went to medical school. I'm qualified. Ugh, I can't stand my mom. She still treats me like I'm a ten-year-old. Ow! <laughs> hmm. Well, I don't do the surgery. So I think that's all there is to do. I've diagnosed her. As needing call child services diagnosis angst amputate the mom from her hmm let's see operating there you go um 
Mm. Pre-op. Probably. Um. I'll just do that one, because that one always seems to work. Did I use the med syringe? I didn't? Maybe I did. I know I poked her with something. Give her brain surgery. Uh, diagnosing with appendicitis. Appendicitis. Uh, discharge? Nope. Not ready yet. I'm gonna call it a day on that one. Lobotomy. Diagnosis, acute parenting infection, treatment, amputate mother. I killed another one, all she had was gas. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Should've just asked if she had, like, Mexican that day. Could've saved everything. Could've saved so much time. But nope. Did I glove her? I did. That was step number one. Was that supposed to say the killer, or was it always meant to say the iller? I'm really not sure. She was eating Mexican food at the dog bite woman's house. I'm gonna see what she says. What was my score? I have no clue. Be here. Everything's gonna be okay. All right. I love you. Just a second. You're Honey, pregnant right with there, a big okay? appendix. Thank you, doctor. They're taking Emma up to surgery now. I'm just so happy that she's not pregnant. But I'm pregnant now. Heart, I know it's just a matter of time. You'll see. <laughs> At least the surgery will keep her away from Tony Scarpello for a few days. That's not very Thank nice. You could do me a favor. Would you mind talking to the surgeons and ask them if they could keep her here for a couple of extra weeks? <laughs> Thank you. Bye. So my daughter's going to be pregnant any minute now. Um, just thought you should know. Car crash man. Yuklovich, an unrestrained driver in a head-on car versus concrete wall. That's killing me. Doctor is going to fix you right up. Where's Lisa? Is she okay? Hang in there. Lisa, the no. Pain, the pain to the left side of the chest and the right arm. You see him lap to his left forehead. He doesn't remember any event, but denies losing consciousness. It's in pretty good shape, considering. The vehicle has severe PSI. Will someone tell me how Lisa's doing? <sighs> the Lisa he's referring to. Stay away. I could hear you! Not smart. I know. I wasn't wearing my seat, though. Lisa! <gasps> that means the temperature's okay. Eh, that seems fine to me. Can I glove you? Hmm. Lisa? Lisa? Oh god. Where is she? Someone blurred your stomach, man. A nasty blurring accident. Ow! Oh. Careful with the arm. Okay. Looked pretty grim for they a really while. They went overboard with the blur tool on this. Like, really? Overboard. Let's see. Well, if she's he... okay, isn't she? No, she's dead. Um, Why won't anyone answer me? Because I legally can't. Uh, gotta clean your face. Oh, that's right. I clicked. God damn! I clicked left eye when I meant to click head. There. All right. Um. I just have to see if there's anything wrong with his head. How do your eyes react? Alright. His brain is okay, everyone. X-ray the arm. Let me just stethoscope him because it's damn useful. That doesn't sound very good. Oh. It's normal. What do I know? I wiped off some Lisa from his face. That's terrible. Oh god. 